Hey, Trey, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Uh, just uh, talk to you a little bit about this at Media Day, but you're you're shooting from the perimeter. I know it's something you worked a lot on in the offseason. Do you feel more confident going into games now, taking the perimeter shots? Have you changed anything just in terms of uh, your, your mechanics and your setup and how you're kind of stepping into shots from previous years? Yeah, um, no, for sure. I, I feel more confident. Um, that, that's all just with the the process I've been I've been going through with my shot. Um, I think I, mean, I haven't really changed much except for just really trying to focus on my mechanics um, during practice while, while I'm practicing those shots and doing different reps. I, mean, I think just getting under and shooting it up higher um, when I'm fatigued. I think that's the biggest thing for me that I've been trying to focus on. Um, but no, I, I think yeah, just stepping in and with confidence and making the shots. Is, is what I got to do. So I, I, that's what I've been, work, been working on. Jim Coyle, then Tyler Tashman. Hey, Trey. Um, following up on shooting, more so for free throws, I think it was uh, after one of the games I asked you about it, and you said something about you guys were taking them more seriously. What does that entail? Uh, I know probably focus, but are you are you changing how you approach those in, in, in practice so they carries over more in games? What exactly is is the are the, are the changes that you guys have made? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're when I say taking more seriously, we're 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 really locking in um, when when it's time to shoot free throws, and when we're we, we we take a lot of time in practice to to make sure we're we're taking those time or we are shooting free throws, and Coach Wilson's always. He's always watching. He's always making sure that we're not messing around, screwing around, talking. We're, we're focused up the line and going up and knocking down and um, just taking our time to go up there and focus. And um, each rep matters. So I think just going up there and practice and it's as important as a game. So taking it and treating it like a game at the free throw line is important. Were you not doing that before completely? I mean, were you just guys letting your mind wander or, or what was it? Because there's definitely a difference. Um, I mean, I mean, there, there's, there's a little bit. I mean, there's not, not much of a dis difference. I, th I think just stepping up and knocking it down with confidence, that's the biggest thing is, that's changed. I think guys just having that mentality of going to the line and knowing that they can make free throws and just getting extra reps and after practice, I think that's the biggest thing we, we focused on. Tyler, then Mason Williams. Hey, Trey, I hope you're doing well. Um, I guess the first two seasons at IU, um, you know, there stretches a time where you weren't playing because of injuries. I guess just how did you keep yourself mentally fit during that time? And, you know, being away, not being able to play basketball, how did you kind of just approach the mental side of it at that time? Yeah, um, I mean, it was challenging because I'm a competitor and I want to be out there with my teammates um, and helping those guys um, however way possible. But I think just just knowing that everything's going to be all right and I'm going to be back out there soon was my biggest thing. I think just staying ready and taking mental notes of the guys and watching practice every day and just being locked in on the sidelines and being trying to be the best team I can be has really helped me. I think it paid off because um, I, I feel like I, I was a pretty good teammate when I wasn't be able, being able to play and just picking up the guys and talking to them. And um, like I said, just staying ready from, from a mental um, perspective. Mason and then uh, Tom Brew. Hey, Trey. Uh, this morning we were talking to Woodson. He said that you guys are going to need to be a good road team to really get where you guys want to go and that he anticipates leaning on veterans like you guys and Trace to kind of lead the young guys through these first few road tests. Um, with, with the experience you've kind of built up in these situations and in these hostile environments, what can you kind of take from those experiences and apply to this, to, to this one? And then also... How have you seen kind of the young guys get ready for it? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's never easy when on the road. Um, and it, it's always going to be a challenge. But I think we got to take that challenge and, and, and use it to our advantage. Like, I, think, I think we have, like you said, we have the guys that have been through it and that have played here for a while, um, the veterans that, that, that can go in and win games on the road. And I think just bringing those freshmen along, because, I mean, it's going to be a challenge for everybody, but those freshmen, um, they, have that, they haven't had that experience yet. So I think – it's going to be, it's going to be a fun experience for us um, because it's always fun to go on a road and get a win. Um, and so I, I think just bringing those guys along and um, helping them and having our focus be locked in on Xavier and, um, and 
to, to do to do what we have to do to go get that one is, is, is a must. Tom and then Alex Bozich. Hey, Trey, I apologize if I'm repeating things here since I missed the answer to your first question. But in regards to your working on your shot and everything over the summer, uh, were there people who were helping you with like the mechanics and such or or pointing out things to you that you can improve as a, just a pure shooter? Yeah, I, mean, I, I there was a lot of guys in the gym with me um, that were helping me out. Uh, Coach Walsh was was with me in the spring for most of that time, really just focused on my mechanics and doing all the little things in my shot just to keep grooving it. And I think um, Jordy as well, those two guys really um, were in there with me trying to help um, and, and do certain things. I mean, I didn't really change much my so uh, shot at all. I think just doing like the little things that, I know I needed to do to help groove it or two big, uh, some of the biggest things I had to do. So I think those guys really helped me out by just making me stay disciplined in my shot. And every time I shot the ball, just trying to keep it the same way every time. It does seem like you have more elevation on your shot and you're squared up a little bit better. Were those points of emphasis at all or no? Sure. Alex. Right. You've, been through a couple seasons now and you guys haven't had a ton of success in terms of winning road games. I'm curious just from your perspective, why has it maybe been difficult in the past to, to win road games and what do you guys have to maybe focus on this year to, to try to reverse that trend of, 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 of not being as successful on the road as you have been at home? Yeah, um, I think it's a mentality thing um, going on the road. I mean, obviously, there's, there's the fans and everything, but I mean, you can't really focus on that. You got to focus on the same thing you do every game. And that's just the discipline and, and the, th the things that, that got you there to, to win games. And I think just having that discipline and, and knowing what we got to do, following the scout, um, just doing the little things on defense, making the right plays on offense. I think just everything goes into play there, but I think just having that mentality going on the road and knowing that we can win um, is, is a, is the thing we have to have this year. Tyler. Trey, what about playing for Mike Woodson is fun? I guess, what about, you know, his personality, his coaching style, just the way he goes about um, things makes it fun playing for him? Um, I mean, everything's great about him. I, I think just the way he holds us accountable um, and and wants us to win and, and how, how he's there for us is, is incredible. I mean, he's he's very selfless and he's, he's, he's always trying to find ways to help us. And I, I just think each year that I've, I mean, the past two years I've been here, he's, he's been there for me and just always understanding of what's going on and stuff. And so I think just him knowing, and since he's played here before, he's, he's understand, understands everything and kind of gets what we're going through. Um, so I think, I think he's the, the main thing is that, that I like about him that he, he wants to win. Um, and so do we. So I think, just us coming together, wanting to win together. It's it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a great thing. Last question, Mike Schumann. Yeah, Trey, I, I asked Coach Woodson what what he liked about your game. You know, he obviously put you in in the starting five last year and, and he pointed immediately to your your toughness and, and your motor. Where where would you say that comes from? I know you've been in a gym your whole life with with your dad going back to the Carmel days. Can you can you pinpoint kind of was that a message that your dad really pushed onto you to play that way, or where do you think that comes from? Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I, I think just being around the game my whole life, I think that's one thing I've really just seen over the years, different players. I, I think just being a coach's son, you kind of have to bring that toughness because, I mean, it's not easy. Um, so I think I, I really picked that up as a young age to try to just be a tough player and um, be a guy that can do a lot of things. Um, Without the, without the ball and just doing certain things. I mean, obviously, there's two sides of the ball, there's defense and offense. So just being able to um, do do a lot of things on the court, and like you said, bring that toughness has, has always been a part of my game. So, All right, Trey, thank you. Thanks.